Hello YouTube family. I apologize for the blank screen. Uh, the reason being is uh, my wife and the grandkids are actually in uh, in shopping right now and I just received this email. Um, I have to get this out to you now. Uh, I just feel it needs, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I could wait, get home and do it in a more, uh, you know, a, a better setting, so to speak, but I want to get this out to you now. Uh, this has really got my heart pumping. Um, really excited about this. So, uh, this gentleman, um, is no holds barred. He gave me permission to use his name. He left me his address, his phone number, which I will be contacting him. And, uh, uh, you know, without talking to him yet, uh, seems absolutely genuine. And, and he has to be after, after writing this, cause he's putting it all out there. People, um, he's, uh, he's not afraid to let people know who he is, where he's from, what he did, anything like that. So, uh, th this just, just adds to, uh, adds to the, uh, uh, the truth of what happened to me. And like I said, I'm, I'm not out trying to prove that happened. Um, but I'm trying to get the truth out of what actually did happen that evening. Okay. That that's my main goal is to drown and flush out these, these fakers and hoaxers and liars and, uh, uh people like that, that have, have completely turned this, uh, tragedy into, a, uh, a, a glorified story that's making a lot of people a lot of money, okay? So I'm going to read this to you really quick. And uh, then I'll probably make a separate video um, with people's questions or anything like that, if you have any. But uh, th th this, uh, this is crazy. So he starts off, uh, Mr. Roger, my name is Ronald Pittman, and I was an auxiliary Kentucky State Police officer from 1981 to 1984. I lived a short distance from Grand Rivers, Kentucky in an unincorporated town of Linton, I believe that's it, Linton, Kentucky. I was recently speaking with the good mayor of Grand Rivers, Kentucky, Mr. Moody. He mentioned your name in a conversation we were having about the lands between the lakes, Kentucky. When he told me about your quest for the truth and the tragedy you were endured the night of 7 April 1982, I wanted to add my support by verifying you are telling the true story of what went down that evening. I will stand up before the judge, jury, and executioner in support of what you are saying is the truth. We, and in parentheses, uh, Kentucky State Police, never received a broadcast communication call the night of, eight, of 7 April 1982 to respond to any type of emergency to the land between the lakes, Kentucky. As a whole, the law enforcement departments did not hear anything about your incident until 10 April 1982. So there's proof. There's proof from a Kentucky state patrolman that heard, well, I mean, was, I mean, basically patrolled that area, but did in fact hear of the incident that I was involved in. And that also proves there was absolutely, absolutely zero local law enforcement, state patrol, uh, uh, FBI, anything like that present at the land between the lakes the night that we were attacked. And he goes on, furthermore, you are correct about the alleged overnight 24-hour service station in Grand Rivers, None existed at that time. Proof, absolute proof that Jan Thompson is lying. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get emotional about this, but it, I mean, this is, this is groundbreaking to me, people. He also goes on to say, if you need me 
to vouch for, for you in public, in a public setting, please just ask. And he finishes off, may God bless you with peace. Ronald Pittman. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I mean, I mean, I obviously read it before. I read it to you people just now, but uh, I'm just blown away. I mean, I'm just blown away that this gentleman has given his name. Um, he's obviously uh, s still goes to Grand Rivers because he was just talking, and he and he mentions names. The mayor, who I spoke to, obviously, Mr. Moody, in Grand Rivers. So, the doubters out there, I understand, and I'm not going to prosecute you or crucify you for your beliefs, but the proof is coming out, and it is out, that I did go through this. Not the Jan Thompson story, not the story of, of, of Fanny being in the tree, which pisses me off the most, as you people know, did not happen. Slow but sure, slow but sure, the liars are being drowned, and the truth is coming to the top. I want to thank you all for taking the time to listen. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And thank you, thank you for everybody that has stood by me and supported me this whole time. It means so much to me. And this here, this is, this is the payback for supporting me. The truth. What everybody has wanted. The truth. God bless. Godspeed. And we'll talk to you later.